What's up guys, Sinclair Photos here, and today we are going over all the stuff that I have done to the Toyota Supra since you guys last saw it. We did a whole bunch of stuff. We tuned down pipe, uh, lowering springs, charge pipe, the whole shebang. So we're gonna go out, hear this thing start up. We're gonna do a couple flybys, go out. I'll break down everything we did for it. And uh, if that's something that you guys wanna do on your Supras if you got them, I would highly recommend it. So let's start her up and head on over to Mexico. Full start. All right, guys. Listen to this thing. Oh my god. I gotta stop, man. Oh my god. This car is so fast. Listen to this. I got some pops. thing I'm saying but we're gonna cruise on down to Mexico and uh, you'll get to hear more of this beast all right guys we are officially out here in Mexico right across the border but we do have my 2020 Toyota Supra and it is looking very dirty right now I apologize these uh, Houston roads lately have been so bipolar if it's raining if it's dry and uh, the white wheels just don't want to stay white. But that's not what we're talking about this video. We're talking about what I did to this car to make it probably the most fun car I've ever driven. We got the Titan Motorsport downpipe on the car. We got a couple more people rolling in. We got the Titan Motorsport downpipe on the car with a stock exhaust tuned by MHD which is apparently a BMW thing that a lot of people use, but you can use it on this car. I'll let you guess the horsepower right now of how much we're putting down to the wheels with just a downpipe and tune. No E50, no E85, nothing like that. Three, two, one. We're putting down 454 horsepower to the wheels, which was double what I had on the FRS. Oh my God. People get crazy out here in Mexico, I've been telling y'all. But we're gonna rev it up a little bit and uh, let you guys hear what this car sounds like now. <laughs> Mans doesn't know how to turn his. So Jordan's gonna rev the car up for us so we can hear what it sounds like now with this, just the downpipe on this car. That thing sounds pretty dang sweet. That's just Titan Motorsport downpipe and the stock exhaust. We do have an exhaust on the way, but it's shipping out and it should be here in like a month. But let's get out of here before we get absolutely destroyed. I don't want to get hit by them, so let's go. Well, now that we've had to evacuate our spot, um, where I was gonna show off the car and everything we've done to it by people in their base model EcoBoost Mustang in V6 Camaro trying to do donuts and almost hitting us a couple times. Now we'll have to relocate, but I think I know of a place. Ooh, I do know a place. There's an R8 right there. I guess it's a good place. I'd rather have an R8 than an EcoBoost Mustang crash into me. That is nice. R8 V10 facelift and then an M8 convertible. Okay, okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. All right, now that we found another spot, more civilized and less noisy, we can go over what we did. So I already mentioned down pipe and tune, picked up uh, about 100 wheel horsepower for this car. 
which feels absolutely amazing. The only one thing that I have a, have a complaint about from the tune is that I guess these cars just don't like to be dyno tuned and I keep getting the like the chassis code on my little check engine area but it says like continue driving just ask the dealership to service the car at your next request. I asked the tuner and they said that it doesn't really hinder the car at all but if you guys have the same issue on yours or know that if it does hinder the car please leave me a comment so I can get that fixed as soon as possible because right now it just shows up when I drive for about like 15 minutes and uh, I haven't really had any issues with it coming on just that it's there and it bugs me but the car is also lower as you can see we still have a little bit of a wheel gap but it's only about like a one yeah it's a one finger wheel gap you cannot get to in there and uh feels great we're on some h and r lowering springs those ran me like 300 bucks i believe but they were like 700 dollars to install so if you guys know how to do that that is where you could pick up some extra savings if you're trying to build a supra but i mean what else would you even really need to do if you wanted to go for a stock body supra tune downpipe and then maybe a cat back as i said i've got the cat back coming for my car i went with the magnaflow x mod exhaust the one that tj hunt has on his uh, that was like the best sounding one that I could find and it gives you the option to be super obnoxious or have like it all resonated with two mufflers, which I like being able to have the option if I want to be obnoxious or if I just want to cruise and chill, which is what I normally do anyway. But in my opinion, the car just looks so much more aggressive now and we're going to get those baby exhaust tips out of there very, very soon. But I mean... As far as exterior mods go, I think we've checked off all the boxes. We've got wheels, lowering springs, a wing. We've got these little uh, wind deflectors that every Supra owner needs. Then as far as like power mods, we got intake, charge pipe, downpipe, and tune. And the exhaust is coming soon. So, I mean, we've really done everything. I guess I could use a front splitter, but I don't really want to spend the money just for it to break off. So I think I'm going to wait plan is however to wide body this car eventually i really don't know what i want to do anymore because the videos i do on like my own car and like the build series they don't get nearly as many views as the ones of just the regular car meets so it's just kind of hard to spend almost ten thousand dollars on a body kit whenever people aren't enjoying that kind of content so maybe we'll see how it goes if throughout the summer I'll do more videos on this car. If those videos keep getting traction and people enjoy them and smash the like button, then I guess at the end of the year, whenever I know when my Bronco's coming, we'll pull the trigger on the wide body kit. But I'm not gonna waste $10,000 if nobody's gonna enjoy it. Of course, I would enjoy having a wide body and a big wing on this car. But as far as the financial intelligence that I have, I know that it's not smart for me to do it if you guys don't like it. If you do want to see that, just know that your like on the video and a comment goes a long way. It just shows me that you like the videos and it shows YouTube that you like the videos so that we can keep building this car up. But for now, once the exhaust comes in, we'll do an install video on that and I think we're good to go. I mean, maybe time for a rally, maybe do some other crazy stuff, maybe go to the drag strip, who knows? There's a lot of stuff I've been wanting to do for this car. Let me pop the hood and show you exactly what these in-gen products look like under there. So we'll just lift up the hood. See what we got going on here. We have the in-gen cold air intake, the in-gen charge pipe, and then I don't think you can see it, but we got the new down pipe down there somewhere. Um, maybe I'll do a carbon engine cover, even though that looks really good. Uh, something else I could do is the 21 kind of I think they're called sway bars or brace bars under the hood just to make the steering and the handling a little more stable but i mean other than that we've really checked all the boxes like i've been saying carbon hood five thousand dollars so i don't think that's going to happen especially when this is a brand new hood that i got from uh, when my other one got destroyed from hail damage but if you guys have any ideas of what i should do for the supra please let me know in the comment section and uh, I will be more than happy to make you guys that actually watch these videos and comment stuff like that, I'd be more than happy to make you guys happy. Maybe do some Starlight Headliner, maybe do a custom sound system, 
the really options are endless and uh, as long as we if we don't wide body the car we have a huge budget to do other things or possibly even get another car if we wanted to do like a, a project car or maybe like a barn find or something like that I really have been wanting to do that but I just don't have the space or the knowledge but if one of you guys knows what's up wants me to do something cool like that I would be once again more than happy to make that content for you guys and I guess with all that being said this is uh, really the end of phase one for my Toyota Supra if it will continue that will just depend on how well the videos do once again but we will be doing a merch drop for this car at the end of this phase once I get the exhaust I've got pins coming, make a custom shirt design once again. I don't really think I want to do another set of lanyards because we still have those from the FRS, but we almost are all sold out of the shirts and the pins. So if you guys want something specific in the merch drop, leave a comment as well. Maybe we could do some Sinclair Photos hats or something along those lines. But phase one of my Supra is 95% finished. I hope you guys enjoy it and I hope you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you wanna see the rest of the videos in the build, there's a playlist linked up in one of these corners. Go watch the whole thing from when we picked up the car to getting it to where it is now. And I'm sure there'll be many more videos in that playlist to come. So it depends whenever you're watching this, how many videos there are. But I hope you did enjoy. If you liked the video, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Here we go. All right. A package arrived today from our good friends over at YouTube. I thought this was going to be like two, three weeks out, but it arrived today. I know what it is. You guys know what it is. Let's open it up, baby. Ooh, baby. I've been waiting for this moment for, well, really my whole life, but it's been five years of hard work has all led up to this moment. All right, we got a squishy thing. And we're greeted by a letter. All right, from YouTube, from YouTube. Some 100,000 subscribers, just how far have you come? If each of your subscribers were a light year, they could take you from one side of the Milky Way to the other. That's far. And that's why today we're excited to celebrate your special YouTube journey with you. Not only have you brought a unique voice and style to the world, you've also created a valuable connection and built a community along the way. In that spirit, YouTube is proud to present you with the Silver Creator Award, which celebrates your hard work and incredible achievement. Congratulations on this amazing milestone, just one of the many that will hope to follow in the future. After all, there are countless others out there that have yet discovered your passion and dedication. Whether they come to your channel to learn something new or just for a laugh, a whole new audience is waiting there for you to inspire them, just as your growing community continues to inspire you. We can't wait to see what you'll do next, and we'll be with you every step of the way. Sincerely, Susan Wojaki, CEO of YouTube. That's super cool. Very nice paper they sent. But this is what we wanted to see today. We got the silver YouTube play button. Finally, for 100,000 subscribers. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. Presented to Sinclair Photos for passing 100,000 subscribers. Look at that. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I was not planning on doing this today, but we're gonna have to go get a frame. This is going to be in the background of my, I guess, uh, my room all the time. So hopefully we'll see this in a lot more videos. But we got another thing for the other awards that hopefully will be coming in the future. The gold play button and the diamond play button. And then something that you're not supposed to eat. But I just want to say thank you to everybody who's followed me and subscribed all these years. Five years and still going strong. Next stop, a million, baby. We're coming. We're going to get there with your help, but I could not have done this without each and every one of you guys. Thank you guys so, so much. Let's get to a million, boys. Let's go.